The house is located in Parque Chacabuco, in the inner city capital of Buenos Aires. We really love the concept of the atrium home and wanted to create our own take on this. The house was built for us, by us. Both of us come from places with very cold climates, so we really enjoy the outdoor living culture here. This is Lindsay, our never too small producer. We think she deserves a little recognition for all of her hard work. So we gifted her a little patch of land from established titles. When she's on this little piece of land, she goes by the title Lady Lindsay. And it allows her to do this. Along with the land, she also received a certificate with her title and unique plot number for an actual piece of land on a Scottish estate. Established titles also planted a tree via one tree planted and trees for the future, and they will continue to do so for every order placed. You can also gift a lady or lord in your life the title they deserve. Head to the link to shop their early Black Friday sale and use the code never too small to get an additional 10% off your purchase. It also helps to support the channel. Wow, she's really good at that. The neighborhood is pretty classic as far as residential areas in Buenos Aires goes. The street, like most streets in the city, is lined with beautiful platano trees which provide a really nice shade in the summer months. This house was originally part of a bigger property which was separated in the 1940s to make a small apartment for a family member. It was later sold as a separate property and it has remained the same today. We lived in the original structure for about 15 months before starting the renovation. The apartment was completely oriented towards the central patio. All the rooms were accessed through the patio with no connection between each other. The floor plan has been almost completely changed. We added another half floor in between for our office and another floor for our kitchen and dining rooms. From the street, you enter via the communal corridor. Through a sliding metal door, you enter an outdoor patio, the entrance to the house itself. The patio has a built-in bench nook. The drawers underneath can store our tools or gardening equipment. The floor and the bench are made from a local travertine sourced from a quarry in the province of San Juan. From the patio, you enter directly into the living room. We refurbish the original floors. They are made from calden wood, which is local to Argentina and South America. There are two custom-made storage units from the TV and books, a locally designed sofa and a rack with some large cushions on the floor. Just off of the living room is the small bedroom. Above the patio bench, there is a great deal of storage space. The patio bench also has drawers that provide additional storage space for our clothes. The bed and the wardrobe are nestled under a low 2.1 meter ceiling. We added a small niche in the wall, which we use as our bedside table for books and phones. The staircase is among the functional metal box containing several rooms. We choose this material because it is very light and take up very little space structurally. Under one side of the stair is a hidden bathroom. The bathroom is a long and narrow space with just enough room for a vanity, toilet and a comfortable sized shower. At the entrance to the bathroom there is a laundry niche with a space for a washing machine. On the other side of the stair is a small powder room with a vanity and a toilet for guests. Just off the landing of the first set of stairs is a small office. The floor and one of the walls are made from the same metal material as the staircase, which allows us to hang things using magnets. The big window fills an entire end of the office and provides lots of natural light and ventilation. 
The upper level is dedicated to a spacious kitchen, a dining area and an outdoor terrace. The upper story has a band of windows running the complete length of both the walls. The kitchen cabinets are made from Guatambu plywood, which is a native tree to South America and custom designed by us. Behind the doors of the floor to ceiling part of the kitchen is a full-sized fridge, a utility closet and an AC unit. Around the corner is a large sink with a dishwasher underneath and lots of storage. The dining room table is made of the same Guatambu plywood and the floors have the same travertine stone as the entryway patio and terrace. The whole back wall is made up of floor-to-ceiling sliding glass panels which allow indoor space to connect with the terrace outside. The metal planters for the bamboo were custom designed by us and welded on site. We did the same for the windows and the staircase railing. We advocate a very clean and simplistic as well as functional style of architecture, which we consider to be essential when designing small spaces. It is therefore important to focus on the basics in order to ensure an elegant and sharp result. We feel that small spaces are the future and by ensuring that quality small spaces are available, we help people become aware that living in a small space can be just as good as living in a big space. Thanks for watching. If you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.